Shed Talks, Mark Allen. You know what? The Olympic test event is coming up just in a couple of days. So I kind of wanted to give you my predictions and predicting on an Olympic distance race on a test race in Paris is going to be pretty tough. Uh, you know, the, the competition is so deep. I think there's whatever, 55 men and women. Crazy fast races that it's going to be. So let's see. For the women, I'm going to, I'm going to put Taylor Nib right in there for sure. You know, she raced super well at the at the last PTO event, winning that. It's going to be see if she can take those two weeks and mush it around and get that speed and recovery she needs. But if she can, she's definitely going to be there on the podium. Also, Cassandra Beaugrand uh, from France, training in the UK. Hometown favorite, so to speak. Uh, super fast runner, young, and building her career. Clearly one of the favorites coming into the test event here. And I'm going to put somebody else in the on the top three. That's going to be Flora Duffy. She She's coming into the race. Uh, sentimental favorite for me, you know, somebody who's won a gold, who's trying to come back and win a second one. You know, national hero in Bermuda, having a day named after her, after her gold. But there's some dark horses. Clearly Beth Potter, one of the best runners in the, in the sport right now for the women. And I'm also going to put another dark horse. I'm giving two dark horses, giving myself a bunch of bets here. Uh, Taylor Spivey, she's super consistent, obviously trying to make the U.S. team. And that's one thing that I'm also going to predict is that based on the way the U.S. team does their selection, I think there's going to be two women who are going to make the automatic qualification for the U.S. team to be competing in Paris in 2024. For the men, let's talk about uh, Hayden Wild. He's got a lot of motivation. He, he's he's beaten Alex Yi, Alex Yi, who is also definitely one of the podium favorites. Hayden and Alex have a pretty. They seem to be head and shoulders above everybody else, except there's that guy Christian Blumenfeld who had cramps in the last PTO event. Uh, but once he was caught by Jason West on the run, he was running so fast. So, And that's what you're going to need to be able to beat any of those two guys. I'm putting those three on the podium. Hayden, you know, he's not scientific, admittedly, in his training. He just goes hard, and it works. Christian Blumenfeld, super scientific in his training. Those three, clearly probably the top three on the podium. But don't count out the French guys. Leo Leo Berger and also Pierre Lacour, super, super strong. Pierre just winning uh, a WTCS event. Coming into this, Leo uh, winning the, the Abu Dhabi last year, uh, one of the best ever. And so it's going to be super exciting. Those are my two dark horse, pick, dark horse picks for the podium here coming up this week in Paris. Check it out. Watch it live. And... Uh, Enjoy the racing. Mark Allen, Shed Talks.